your arms just rest to either side, and allow your eyelids to close or just keep it nice and heavy. And then pay attention to where your natural breath is. And then go ahead and just allow your arms to lengthen at your side. Now, if the eyes are closed or the eyelids are heavy, tap into what your breath is doing. Let your inhales gently rock you forward onto your toes. And your exhales gently pressing you back into your heels. Move deeper into your ujjayi breath, that victorious deep breath. Feeling your body gently sway in space. Feel your feet connect deeper into the mat. Three more breaths. On your next exhale, find stillness in your stance. Allow your arms to really lengthen down at your sides as if there's heavy weights wrapped around your wrists, pulling them down. Draw your belly muscle in. And on your next inhale, opening up the eyes, lift the arms up, slowly guiding them up and overhead. Your palms will touch. And then exhale your hands down to the center of your heart. Inhale, reverse your prayer hands back up. Exhale, actively press the air down as if you're pushing your arms through thick muscles. So you're activating those muscles. Good. And then do that again. Inhale, lift the air up. Feel your belly muscles pull up and in. Palms connect overhead. Exhale, the hands down to the center of your heart. We'll just do this two more times. You'll inhale, the palms up. Again, find that active pressing down, activating all the way up through your shoulders. Guide the arms up on your next inhale. Soften the gaze in front of you, palms connect. Exhale down. One more, inhale. On this exhale, begin to tip forward, finding a long forward fold. And then let your hands connect to the floor, so the blocks, wherever they're at. Head rests heavy. We'll go back to our breath. So you'll inhale your breath forward into the toes, and exhale yourself back into the heels. Starting to open up your hamstrings gently here. Allow a heaviness to get deeper through the shoulders. The head sinks closer to the ground, inhaling forward, exhaling back. A couple more, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, slowly roll yourself up. Your arms are nice and heavy. As you round through the spine, guiding yourself back, that belly is in. Continue to lift the arms up around you. Palms connect overhead. And then exhale, hands down to the center of your heart. Do that again. Inhale, reverse with your hands up. Slowly, strong, slow motion, swan out the abs. You're strong. Hands connect to blocks or the mat. Fold forward. And then roll yourself back up, visualizing your vertebra, just stacking one on top of Continue lifting the arms up, palms touch, hands down. One more time, please just build them onto this. Inhale up. Exhale, press the air down in that slow motion swan dive. Hands to floor or blocks, fold forward. And then soft bend in the knees as you roll the belly and the spine up. Standing, continue guiding the arms up. Inhale, palms touch. Exhale now. Close your eyes. Take a moment to just dedicate this practice to something that you feel is nourishing for you at this time. It could be a simple word. Maybe there's a concern that you have. Not what's tangible, what we're all concerned about right now. Is it someone you love? Whatever that is, find that dedication to yourself. One inhale. Opening up the eyes, inhale, reach your prayer hands up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Hands to block or floor. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale up halfway. Flatten the spine, hands either to blocks or shins. And think about your sits bones pushing back like you're moving the wall behind you. Fold the belly muscles up and in. And then exhale, fold forward once again. So your hands will find the mat. Your left foot is going to step back about three feet. Put that back foot at a 45 degree angle. 
Bring your left hip forward, push your right hip back. Feel a nice good stretch through that right hamstring. Then inhale up halfway again, aiming the crown of your head forward. Big inhale. If you need to put a soft bend in that right knee, that's totally fine. And then let your exhale melt your chest down closer to that right knee, finding a deeper stretch. And then inhale, step your left foot forward. Slowly roll yourself back up to standing. Go ahead and lift the air up around you with your arms. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, the hands down to the center of the heart. Inhale, look for your prayer hands up. Exhale, swan back, fold forward. Hands find block or floor. Inhale up halfway, Urdhva Uttanasana. Lengthen out the spine, soften the brow. Exhale back to Uttanasana. This time, your right foot steps back about three feet, turning your right toes to the right side of your mat. And then go ahead and bring your right hip forward, draw your left hip back. Inhale up halfway again, lengthen the crown of the head forward. And then exhale, lower down nose to knee stretch, feeling the back of your hamstring waking up. For three counts, two, and one. Go ahead and step your right foot forward again with your left and slowly roll yourself up through the spine, belly is in, arms lift up, nice and slow, palms touch, hands lower down. Reverse your prayer hands up, reach them up, exhale, swan by fold forward. Inhale through the nose, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Stepping your left foot back now, lunging it back. So you're going to really find a nice long lunge. You're welcome to grab your blocks to their highest level, framing your foot. And then you're going to go ahead and hug your inner thighs towards each other. If they were side by side, it's like you're squeezing them together. So you feel that strength of the legs. And then inhale your eyes forward, gently bend that knee. That back knee lowering it down, let the knee tap the mat and then straighten the left leg back up. Do that two more times. Inhale, tap the knee. Exhale, lift, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. You're going to go ahead and step the left foot forward a bit, dropping the heel down, nose to knee stretch. And then step the left foot forward. Forward fold, hands to blocks or floor. Slowly roll yourself up through the spine. And then belly is strong, lift the arms up. Exhale down. Reverse prayer hands, reach up. Exhale, swan back, fold forward. Inhale up halfway, Urdhva Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Now your right foot steps all the way back, finding that long lunge. Getting strengthened through the pelvis, squeeze your inner thighs to the middle. Good. And then inhale your gaze up, looking forward. You'll lower your back knee down, let it tap the mat, and then straighten the right leg up. Two more. Inhale, tap the knee, straighten back up. One more. Inhale to tap, exhale to straighten. Step your back foot in a bit, dropping the right heel down, nose to knee stretch. Maybe the hands can find the floor for three, two, and one. Step the right foot forward, next to the left. Slowly round through the spine as you roll yourself back up. Abs are strong, arms lift up, palms touch, hands lower down, building on. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan back. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Left foot lunges back. Squeeze those inner thighs together and then bring the arms up higher, next lunge or horse. If you want to go even stronger, bring the hands together. Maybe even reach those arms forward. Hug those inner thighs and breathe here for five, four, three, two, on one. You're going to go ahead and bring the hands down to the ground. Pick up your right foot, find your plank. Take one breath cycle in plank for a moment. On your next inhale, rock forward onto the toes. Hug your elbows in, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Roll the shoulders back, lifting the chest up either to cobra or upward dog if you feel your back is ready for it. Soften through the lower spine. And then exhale, flip the toes, downward facing dog. This being our first downward dog, feel free to pedal those feet. Push the floor away with your hands, lengthening out your spine. 
Feet are pelvis width distance apart. Stay connected to your breath for three more counts. Two, and one. Your right foot is going to lift high to the sky on a three-legged dog as you sink your left heel down to the mat. And then exhale the belly in as you float the right foot once again between your hands. Drop your back heel down. And then nose to knee stretch. Nose finding the right knee for three, two, and one. Step the left foot forward. And then once again, roll your way back up. Two to us and then continue lifting the arms up on your inhale. Exhale the hands down, center of the heart. Other side, inhale, rise. Exhale, swan back, fold forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Your right foot will now step all the way back, finding that long, strong lunge. Hug the inner thighs towards one another, and then lift the arms up, high runner's lunge. You can stay here or go into that horse by bringing the palms together and extending the arms forward. For three, two, breathe on one, hands lower down. Pick up the left foot, find your plank. Stay strong. On your next inhale, rock forward onto the toes. Hug your elbows into your ribs as you lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Roll the shoulders back for cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Give yourself three breaths in your down dog. Two breaths. On your next inhale, bring your eyes forward. You're going to lift your left leg up. Find that three-legged dog. Sink your right heel down. And then exhale, pull the left knee in. Dropping the left foot between the hands. Your back heel drops down, nose to knee stretch. And then inhale, step the right foot forward. Forward fold, slowly roll yourself back up. Continue lifting the arms up, palms touch, and hands come down. Take a moment, closing your eyes. Give yourself three steady breaths. And let's continue on with that sequence. Two breaths. Allow that word or that thought that you might have chosen for yourself to come back into your mind. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and reach your hands up. Exhale, swan back, fold forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Left foot lunges back. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Raise the arms up. High runner's lunge or variation. For three, two, one. On one, you're going to lower your hands down, left hand to the mat, right arm is going to revolve up to the ceiling. Breathe here. For three, two, and then one. Frame the right hand, find your plank. From plank, move into your Chaturanga Dandasana. Hold plank or on the knees if you choose. Roll the shoulders back, up dog. Flip the toes, exhale. Downward dog for three counts. Two and one. Your right foot once again lifts high to the sky. Drop your left heel down. Now bend your right knee and open your right knee to the ceiling. Looking underneath your right arm if possible for three counts. Two and then straighten that leg. Float the right foot between the hands. Drop your left heel down. Nose to knee stretch. Only this time, hand to either block or the mat on the left side. And you're going to once again open the right arm up to the right side of your mat. For three counts, two, and one. Lower the hand down, step the left foot forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Slowly roll yourself up, lifting the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana, palms touch, hands lower down to the center of your heart. Reverse your hands up. Exhale, swan back, fold forward. Inhale up, halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Now your left foot, or excuse me, your right foot. Your right foot lunges all the way back. Hugging those inner thighs towards the midline of your pelvis as you lift your arms up. Finding your lunge. Maybe the hands come together. Breathe here for three, two. On one, your right hand comes down to the mat. Left arm revolves up to the sky. Big inhale, 
And then exhale your left hand down, finding your plank, moving through your Chaturanga Dandasana sequence. Hugging your elbows in, line your ribs, roll the shoulders back. Facing down. Exhale, flip the toes, downward facing dog. Breathe here for three, two, on one, right. We're on the left side now, aren't we? The left leg. <laughs> on the left leg. Yeah, the left leg goes up. Because we haven't done the dot uh, nod. Anyway, lift the left foot up <laughs> and then open up the left hip. Dropping that left heel. Just hold this here for three, two, and then one straighten the left leg, float the left foot between the hands, drop the back heel down. Now your right hand can stay on the floor or the block as you revolve the left arm up, coming into revolve trikonasana, revolve triangle. Big inhale here, and then exhale, lower the hands down. Step, so right foot forward, forward fold. Take one more breath cycle here, and then let your exhale slowly inflate you up to standing. Continue lifting the arms up, palms touch, hands are down, close the eyes. And just take a moment to recapture your breath, stabilize your thoughts. For three counts. Two, and one, allow the eyes to open. Reach your prayer hands up. Exhale, swan dive fold forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Go ahead and step your left foot back. Find your long lunge. Bring your arms up to your high lunge. Now our hands are going to come down to the center of our heart. As you hug those inner thighs together, you're going to rotate to the right side of your mat, resting your elbow on top or to the side of the right quad. You can step your left foot back or wiggle it back if you like. Should you want to expand and open up the arms towards the right side of your mat, you'll just spread the palms apart. Otherwise, keep the hands together for three counts. Two on one. Left hand to the mat. Lift your right arm up. And then extend your right arm overhead towards the front of the room. For three, two, on one, go ahead and bring your right foot, finding your plank. Move through your Chaturanga Dandasana sequence. Rolling the shoulders back up, back. Exhale, down one up. Inhale the right leg up, bending through the right knee. You can stay here, or if you'd like to flip your dog, you're welcome to drop the right foot to the left side of your mat, opening the right arm overhead. For three counts, two and one, go ahead and straighten that one right leg back up. Step the right foot forward once again. Back heel drops down, nose to knee stretch, and then the left hand finds the block or the mat as you open up with the right arm, revolving your triangle. For three, two, on one, bring yourself down and find your blocks. You're going to grab your blocks, bringing them to level two, and walk the blocks forward about six to eight inches. Picking up the back heel, you're going to push off with that left foot and allow the blocks to come forward enough so that your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders. So we're going to start with that upper left leg, really extended long. Then flex through the left ankle. You're going to lift your left hip up to the ceiling, stacking your hips. Your left hand will find that left hip and try to lift out of the right shoulder and wrist. So really you're centering the majority of your weight through that right glute area. If you'd like to extend your left arm up to the sky, finding half moon, you're welcome to do that and breathe for five, four, three, two, and one, lower the left hand back down to the block. Nose to knee stretch, once again, lifting your left leg as high as you can, pull the belly in, and then lower your left foot down to your right, forward fold. 
Inhale, slowly roll yourself up, one vertebra at a time. We'll lift the arms up, palms touch, hands lower down. Take two breaths here. Inhale the belly. Exhale through the nose. On your next breath, let your arms reach up high. Exhale, swan that fold forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Now your right foot will step all the way back, finding your high lunge. Guide your arms up. Stay strong. Palms can come together for three, two, and then one. Hands will find their way to the center of your heart. Wiggling your right elbow just so you know where it's going to go. And you're going to twist off to the left side. Now you can keep the prayer hands at your heart or open the hands up if it's available to do so on this side for three, two, on one. Your right hand finds the mat, left arm reaches first up to the sky and then extends overhead to the front of the room. Breathe here. And then exhale, go ahead and plant the left hand, bring the left foot back, find your plank, move through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, to down dog. One more breath here. We're going to take the left foot up once again, find that high, long extension, and then lift the left hip, bending through the left knee. You can stay here, or if you want to try to flip your dog, drop the left foot to the right side of the mat for three, two, engage through the abs and bring yourself back up to your three-legged dog. And then step your left foot forward, dropping your back heel to the mat at a 45 degree angle through that ankle, nose to knee stretch. And then go ahead and bring the right hand to the mat or a block as you twist through the waist, reaching the left arm up, revolving your triangle. For three, two, and one. Lower the hands down, finding both blocks. You'll step around the block, those blocks four, six, eight inches, and then push off with the right foot, lengthening out through that right leg. From here, we're going to stack the right hip, keeping a flex through the right ankle, and then your right hand can either stay on your right hip or reach to the ceiling. Finding half moon. For three, two, and one. Lower down. Lift your right leg up as high as you can, standing splits, and then lower the right foot down. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Breathe here. And then let your exhale slowly roll you up one vertebra at a time. Continue lifting the arms up. Palms touch, hands come down, closing the eyes along the way. Standing tall and strong, feeling that openness through the backs of the legs and the hips. One more breath. So open, and then just shake the arms up. So we're going to take a step away from the sequence just for a moment to work on a little bit of a balancing pose. Now I was going to do eagle, but if you have any requests for a standing balance pose, anything in particular? Okay. So I'm just going to be mirroring you. We're going to shift our weight onto the left foot. Hands are going to find your hips, just so they have a place to hang out for now. And then you're going to bring your right knee up. We're going to wrap that right knee high and around, trying to bring the foot behind or near the back left calf. Then your arms are going to extend out to a T. This time, your left arm is going to come underneath and around the right. And first, inhale those bound arms up. Then exhale, lower the elbows down towards the legs. And then begin to hinge at the hips. Bowing forward, finding Garudasana, eagle pose. Breathe here for five. Find a spot on the floor that's not moving. Four, just hold your eyes to that spot. Three, two, on one first, lift up the arms. Go ahead and cross the right foot in front of the left, 
Unwind the arms and fold forward, just to stretch out the back of your left calf muscle. Breathe here for three, two, and on one, unwind the legs and roll yourself back. So this time, shifting your weight onto the left leg, hands once again find the hips so they have a place to be. Belly is strong, you're gonna go ahead and lift the left knee up, crossing that left knee high and around the right knee so you can get as much of that lower leg behind the standing calf. And then your arms will extend out. Your right arm is going to come underneath the left elbow, bind the bind. First, lift the hands up, feel the stretch to the shoulders, and then exhale, lower the elbows down, hinging at the hips. And breathe again for five counts. Four, belly strong, three, two, and one. Unwind the arms, but take the left foot in front of the right, and cross-legged forward fold. For three counts. Two, and one. Uncross the back leg, bringing it to the side. Clasp your elbows with your hands and just hang out here in this elbow foot, swaying side to side. For three, Two, and on one, release the hands down to the mat. Slowly roll yourself up, one vertebra at a time. Come back to the top of your mat. Go back to that sequence, and then we're just going to move on, bringing things down to do a little bit more strength. So arms are going to stay extended at your side. Really root down through the feet. Belly is in. Let your inhale lift the arms up. Palms will touch. Then you'll just lower the prayer hands to the center of your heart. We set in ourselves. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, swan back, fold forward. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Left foot lunges all the way back. And then you lift your, your arms up, finding your high lunge. Our hands can come together, belly is strong. For three, two, lower your prayer hands down on one. Your left elbow will come to the outside, twisting through the waist. If you'd like to open up your arms to the right side of your mat, you're welcome to do that. Eyes looking forward or up at the ceiling. Big inhale here. And then exhale, unwind out of the twist, but then bring your left hand to the floor, right arm high to the sky, staying in that twist, and then extending the right arm overhead for three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring your hand down, find your plank. Moving through Chaturanga Dandasana, hug your elbows into your ribs, roll the shoulders back, peel your chest up, hook the toes, downward facing dog. Breathing here for three, two, on one, your right foot once again, lifts up to the sky, bending through the right knee, open the right knee to the ceiling. You can stay here or flip your dog. Dropping down to the left side of your mat. Big inhale as you lengthen. And then exhale, straighten that right leg back up. Guiding the right foot back between the hands. Drop your back heel down. Nose to knee stretch. Bring your left hip forward. Draw your, or push your right hip back. Then your left hand stays on the floor or a block as you open your right arm up, revolving your triangle. Keeping your right leg as straight as you can manage for three, two, on one. Pick up your back heel, find your blocks. Blocking your blocks forward, so that's six to eight inches in front of your right foot. Lift your left leg up. From here, flex through your left ankle like you're about to Put a footprint on the wall behind you, and then stack your left hip on top of your right. From here, your left hand will either find the hip, maybe the left hand finds the heart, maybe it extends up to the sky. For three, two, and one. Lower the left hand back down, nose to knee stretch. 
as you square your hips, drop your left hip, but lift your left leg as high as you can for three, two, and lower the foot down on one. Slowly roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. Belly is strong. Lift the ear up around you. Palms touching overhead, hands lowering down. Last time through the sequence, last side, inhale up. Exhale, swan back, fold forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Your right foot lunges back as far back to the back of your mat as you can go. Squeeze those inner thighs together as you lift the arms up, finding your long lunge. Prayer hands can come together. Reaching forward if that feels good. And then exhale your hands to the center of your heart. Your right elbow finds the outside of your left thigh as you twist through the waist. Maybe even opening up the arms on this side. Maybe not, it's a little trickier. And then go ahead and bring your prayer hands down to the floor, right hand to the mat. Left arm reaches up to the ceiling. Push that right heel back. And then extend the left arm overhead for three, two, on one, both hands to the mat. Find your plank, move through Chaturanga Dandasana. Roll the shoulders back, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Breathing for three, two, on one. The left leg lifts up high to the sky. Drop your right heel down as you bend through the left knee, opening up the left hip. Your choice, you can sit here or flip your dog if it's available on the side. For three, two, and one. Straighten that left leg up, and then exhale, float the left foot between the hands, dropping the back heel down, nose to knee stretch. Hug the right hip forward. Draw the left hip back. And then your right hand finds the mat or your block as you lift up through the torso, twisting through the waist, and extend the left arm to the ceiling. Breathe here for three, two, and one. Lower down, finding your blocks. Walk forward six to eight inches to lift up the right leg. Lengthen out through the torso. And then flexing through the right ankle, stack your right hip on top of your left. Your choice, your right hand can come to the hip or up to the ceiling for half moon. Ardha Chandrasana for three, two, lower the hand down, square the hips, lift your right leg higher to the ceiling, nose to knee stretch, and then lower the foot down, forward fold. Uttanasana. Slowly roll yourself up. Once again, finding Tadasana, mountain posture, arms extended at your sides, and then inhale your arms up. Let your palms connect. Hands lower down, close the eyes and breathe. Bring your heart rate down. more breaths. Belly is in. Final breath. And we'll take eyes open. Hands are going to come to your hips. With your left foot, you're going to step your left foot back and then turn towards the left side of your mat. So you're on a wide legged stance here. Belly is in. We're going to bring your hands behind our back interlacing the fingers or maybe clasping the wrists with the hands if the shoulders allow for it. You'll inhale, roll the shoulders back so your chest opens up. Then as if there was a big beach ball between your inner thighs, you're gonna try and hug the inner thighs towards one another. Make sure it's those inner thigh muscles that are working and not the knee joints. You wanna use the muscles. You're gonna keep a flat spine as you bow forward, stopping halfway. So you're at this 90 degree angle at the hips. And just stay strong, continue hugging those inner thighs. As you're here, the crown of the head aims forward, lengthening through the neck. On your next inhale, your arms will extend out to a T, and you're gonna hover those arms. Continue hugging the inner thighs towards one another, 
belly muscles are drawing up to support your lower spine. From here, your left hand is going to find the floor, and you're going to rotate through the waist, reaching your right arm up to the sky. That right arm is going to then wrap around your lower back, reaching for the inside of the left hip or thigh. One more breath here. On your exhale, your right knee will bend. Your left leg stays straight. Try to get deeper in your twist if it's available for you to do. And hold this here for five, four, three, two, on one. First, straighten the right leg, and then extend the right arm, and then bring the right hand down. Staying long through the spine, your right hand stays connected to the mat or floor. You'll lift the left arm up, rotating through the waist, not your shoulders. When you're ready, wrap your left arm around and behind your lower back to the right hip. Breathing for one more breath cycle. And then your exhale will bend your left knee. Sinking deeper in the twist, getting a deeper inner thigh stretch. For three, two, and one. Go ahead and straighten the left leg first, followed by the left arm, and then lower both hands down. From here, your left leg. Go ahead and draw your belly muscles up and in. You're gonna take your left leg and you're gonna actually kind of push off with that left foot and extend your left leg to the top of your mat, followed by your right leg. So you're into a seated position, finding Gandhasana. Now we're gonna use one of these blocks in a minute, so just make sure you have one block close. We're gonna take that block, hug it between the ankles, and you're gonna really keep strong, active, uh, strong active ankles here. Your hands can either stay at your hips, or if you'd like the assistance of the arms for kickstands, you're welcome to do that as that core strength is building up. From here, you're gonna just hug. Hug those inner thighs towards one another. Try to lift that block a little bit off the floor and just stay strong. Now, if you feel like you need more, for any reason, you can bring the arms up and really stay active. Whichever you pick, I just want you to breathe here for five strong breaths. Inhale deeply, exhale. Four more, inhale. Exhale, here's three, inhale, exhale, two, exhale, hug that block, last one, inhale, exhale, release the block down, everyone's going to lift their arms up, belly is in, and you're going to hinge forward, finding your toes, your ankles, wherever your grip is. From that grip, you'll lengthen out through the spine as you inhale, looking forward, and then pull the deep belly muscles in to fold deeper. For three, two, and one. Slowly release. Remove that block from the feet, but still keep it close. We're going to bend at the knees. The feet are going to come wide. The knees are going to fall into one another. And then we're just going to lower down onto our forearms. And you can bring your hands either to the side of your hips or out wide. And you're just going to tick tock your knees back and forth. For three counts, two, and one. Knees are going to come together. You're going to take one block, and you're going to bring it to the upper shoulder blade, shoulder line area. Now make sure it's on its lowest level, so as flat as the block can be. Once you're there, your hands are going to come behind your head, interlacing your fingers. And then you're just going to drop the head back. Your knees will stay in, your feet will stay wide. Opening up the heart. Take a big inhale here. Making sure your block is not in the center of your back. You want it to be supportive of the shoulder line to shoulder blade area. And then we're going to exhale the knees open. Soles of the feet are going to find each other, finding bound angle pose. Knees are going to open up wide. You can continue to sink the weight of your head in your hands, or if you feel this is comfortable for you, your hands, will, your fingers will stay interlaced as you extend your arms back, dropping your head back even further, opening it, opening up through the neck and the throat. 
Stay connected to your breath for five counts. Four, three, two, and one. Release your hands, let them find the back of your head just to help lift the head up. Knees are gonna to come together and you're gonna extend your legs out for a moment just to lift yourself up, removing your block. From there, you're gonna lower all the way down onto the back. Pick up the right leg and drape the right leg up and over the left knee. Coming into reclined cow face, you're gonna lift up the feet from the mat, hands find the shins, and walk their way down to the ankle or the feet and draw the feet up towards the shoulders. So you're feeling a good stretch through your right hip and glute. Continue laying here, staying connected to your breath. For five counts. Four, three, two, on one, you'll release the feet, but keep the legs crossed. Your arms will open up to a T and you'll drop your legs over to the left side of your mat. Finding a nice twist through the waist, your eyes can look off towards the right hand and you're welcome to close your eyelids. We slow things down, still staying connected with your breath. Breathe here. Five more counts. Four. Three. Two. On one. Sigh out through the mouth. You'll bring those knees up to center. Your right hand is going to find the outside of your right foot. Your left knee is going to have a soft bend. So you can stay in this grip, the hand to the outside of the foot, or you can do the yogi toe lock with your peace fingers wrapping around the big toe. Try to extend the right leg as straight as you can, and then inhale, slowly bend. Do that three more times. Exhale, length through the legs as you bring, get into that extension, and then lower down. Exhale. Inhale, one to two left, depending on your tempo. Out, and then out. And then we're gonna find half happy baby. So you're gonna bend through the right knee, pull that right knee down, and then straighten the left leg on the floor. Try to keep the back left side of the glute and lower spine as close to that as possible as you pull that right knee down for three counts, two, and then one, grab onto the right foot with your left hand. Right hand finds right knee. Pull your nose in towards the shin, kind of a recline cradle of the baby. And then gently lower the head back down. Bring the right foot to the floor, a bend in your right knee. Your left leg will come up high and drape over the right leg. And then belly is strong as you lift those legs up, hands finding feet or the ankles, pull them up towards the shoulders. Stretching through your left glute, breathe into that stretch, nice and deep. Three more counts. Two. On one, you'll keep your legs bound, but release the feet. And then open the arms to your T as you drop or spill your legs off to the right side of your mat. Staying rotated through your waist, your eyes will look off to your left hand. And once again, connect to your breath, feeling your belly rise and fall in your twist. Two more breaths. Wiggle 
With your next inhale, bring your bound legs back up to the center. Your right foot will stay on the floor as you find the left foot with your left hand in whatever grip works best for you. We'll exhale to extend and straighten the left leg and then inhale to bend it. Doing this four more times. Exhale, lengthen it out, inhale to bend. Belly stay strong. Three more. Inhale. Two more. Last one. Stop the lower leg halfway as you find that half happy baby. Your right leg straightens out on the ground. Continue pulling your left knee towards the floor in that deep 90 degree bend. Bend to breathe there for three, two, and then one. Reclined cradling of the baby. So bring your head up as you lower the left foot into the left hand. Excuse me, into the right hand, and the left arm wraps around the leg. Just give yourself a nice big hug. And then gently release the head down. Lower the legs all the way down. We're going to reach the arms up and overhead just for a little nice long full body stretch as if you could levitate the body off of the ground. Inhale here and then release and relax through the mouth. You can either keep your arms overhead or bring your arms back at your sides for Shavasana corpse pose. Stay connected to your breath and counting us down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Deep breath in, fold, two, soften the jaw, and one, completely melt into the ground. Gentle inhale, bring movement to your toes and your fingers. Exhaling movement into the wrists and the ankles. And allow the movement to continue traveling throughout the body. When you're ready, you'll allow your knees to drift in towards the chest. And your hands will be ready and waiting to grab onto the knees and give the legs a nice hug. Rocking side to side. And then rolling on to the side of your choosing, the right side for energy, the left side for restoration. You'll just cradle your head in your arms when you get there, keeping the eyes closed. And fill your lungs with one big deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, make your way to a comfortable seat on your mat. Bring your hands to the center of your lap when you get there, one resting on top of the other, palms facing up. to the center of your heart. Quietly thank yourself for offering this practice to your mind and your body. 
and take that word or that thought of nourishment with you throughout the rest of your day. Namaste.